Venus and Prospero, and Prospero to roll back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So whenever you guys happen to watch this reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then this time this love reading is for you. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading. Okay, we have the Strength card and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? Romantic love messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Guys, as always, with any tarot reading, make, sh <laughs> make sure you only take the messages that resonate with you in your particular situation and everything else. Chunk it, release it, and let it go, okay? Um, if you like the video, consider subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done so already, give the video a thumbs up. Share the video and, yeah, hit the notification bell after you subscribe, okay, guys? And if you have an extra minute, check out my book, Life is Not a Dress Rehearsal, My Journey in the Classroom as an Empath and a Teacher. It's available wherever books are sold, and I hope you guys will consider purchasing a copy. The link is listed below in the description box, or you can go to your favorite retailer and log in that title, okay? So search for it. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's shuffle. Let's cut again. We have the Hierophant, the Six of Cups in Reverse, yeah, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, Justice, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. You getting away from somebody or you have gotten away from somebody who you thought was your soulmate and you were married to this person. This person was not your soulmate. Six of Cups in reverse. Nine of Swords. They kept you up. Tower in reverse. It, it's this, you know how they say, irre irreconcilable differences. Tower in reverse. Ain't no saving this. Well, whoever this was with. Okay. Baby. Let's see. Yep. Six of Wands in reverse and the Two of Wands. You already know you was going to leave them after a certain event happened. Okay. Um, child, this person, when I tell you, they put you through the ringer, or maybe y'all put each other through the ringer, okay? Take it how it resonates for you, okay? It wasn't what it was cracked up to be. You were excited about the marriage. You put in your effort with this particular person, but you was like, ooh, this my soulmate. This who I'm going to marry, this, this, that, and the other. But it was just too much going on. You got the Six of Cups in reverse. That one you I put it to you this way, because some people get highly offended. They might have been a soulmate, but they weren't the one that you were looking for. But they had you up in your head, worrying about, for some of y'all, money, worrying about what they were doing in the streets, just worried, constantly dealing with anxiety, dealing with this particular person and what they were doing, whatever that is. Take it how it resonates. Four of Cups. Disappointed in how things turned out. You tried to communicate your disappointment, but they weren't trying to hear it. You were trying. You were trying. Or y'all were y'all were trying to talk some things out. This eight of wands and this three of pentacles can also represent uh, mediation or going through the courts for divorce. I'm just saying. Y'all finally getting things balanced and worked out because y'all couldn't take it no more. It's just okay whatever let's get this done for some of y'all it has taken five years three to five years to get divorced from a particular person because y'all been going through mediation or been going through lawyers of the course and it has taken that long okay y'all sitting here as the king and the queen of wands it's like y'all are matching every other aspect of your personalities but emotionally and mentally it was good for a while but this person was doing some stuff they, they ain't had no business doing. And it's like you wanted the victory with them, but you couldn't get it because it's like either they planned a divorce and, and, and came with the divorce energy before you were ready to do it, or it's like they were just petty, 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 Bob, and it's like either you served them with papers or they served you with papers. 
both of y'all got a significant fire sign placement though in your chart i know that much but yeah y'all been going through this for a while now it's like y'all been literally going through mediation and everything you said you wanted they said no to and that's what was taking so long three to five years to get divorced i heard somebody say one time it's easy to get into a marriage it's hard as heck to get out of it and i feel like that's what y'all experience it's like now it's like y'all coming to an agreement where things can y'all can go y'all separate ways but to everybody else y'all was the perfect couple but they didn't know what y'all were experiencing in the relationship baby baby ooh, see you can't make this stuff up y'all had chemistry that was good but it only takes you so far y'all got married and then that's the higher fun energy and stuff went haywire let's see here spirit divine holy spirit what additional messages do you have for aquarius sun moon rising and venus placements for their reading it's like somebody was giving somebody the blues or it could have been mutual i don't take it how it resonates for you what additional message or messages do you have for a quick child some of y'all let y'all friends get involved in this particular marriage or yeah baby or your actual sister okay old feelings sometimes old feelings never go away sometimes you someone has you on their mind or maybe the one or maybe you are the one that someone has on their mind look they need to let that go because somebody had a sister or somebody or who was close to them you can't make this shit up you can't make this up what does that say dead end this card signifies that there is no need to force the situation and or this is going nowhere at the moment. However, that doesn't mean that it will be forever. Somebody allow their friend, their family member to come in between y'all. The tower in reverse as well. Six of wands in reverse. That child. This was to, to break y'all up. It was somebody playing, whether it be their sister, mother, auntie, friend, cousin, whoever. They didn't like you for whatever reason, and they was on their soapbox, and they weren't going to rest until y'all broke up. Baby. Ugh. Okay. That's all I have for y'all. I got to get out of this engine. I got a sage, baby. So that's all I have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and, and Venus Placements. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell. Check out my book, Life is Not Addressed to Her Son. I'll see y'all beautiful people in the next video. Bye, guys.